What is up, everyone? Uh, Brennan's Earth here, and um, today we're doing a Pokemon video. Just give me a sec, though. Pokemon, a game where you just gotta catch them all thing. Um, I decided to make my own, and before anyone asks, yes, all of it is pixel art. I'm not that good at drawing. But I could leak... Or I could just show some little pictures of them without being in this pixelated style. Where they're just like fully sketched out, smooth textures, all that. But yeah. We're going to... Hold on. Whoop. <laughs> we're going to start off with Chompazar. The Chomp Lizard Pokemon. Now all Pokemon, um, all the community things... Oh, hold on. Okay, all of the community says that it's supposed to be a thing where it's like, oh, the grass types are based on extinct animals, water types are based on a weapon and semi-aquatic animal, along with each generation being like mammal, reptile, and amphibian, all, and that after each gen, and then fire types, zodiac. I sort of followed it. Uh, meet Chompazar. He is based on... A lizard and also a T-Rex. That being shown by his stance. But he's also got a little bit of frog in him. So technically another Bulbasaur if we look at the eyes. He's just a merge of creatures. You know, a whole bunch of concept art. He was going to be a, a Brachiosaurus thingy. But I don't have any of that concept art. None of it. Up next though, if you were to evolve him. By the way, I'm adding shinies into this because I think they're cool. Um, here's where we get to the first thing, though. Every one of their shinies at the second stage will go to being this cool black, edgy kind of design. And that'll stay for the entire line. My favorite shiny is the Water Starter's final stage. But yeah, meet, Trump, meet Chompa Ground, the, the, dirt, the Chomp Dirt Lizard Pokemon. Um, yeah. I think this was well. Oh, flip. Oh, hold on. Um, I forgot the deck entries. Um, Chompazar. Chompazar, as unusual as unusual as they are, like to hang around by lakes and absorb some of the water for their own power. And then for this Chompa Ground, Chompa Ground dig deep burrows into trees and dirt, hoping that they can find treasures to eat. They're similar to Gimme Ghoul, I don't know. Or not Gimme Ghoul. Um, what was his name? The little gem guy, though. I forgot his name. Um, I don't remember, but he's the little guy with gem eyes. But yeah, meet Chompa Lake. You might think he's a water type now. Water and, um, and ground. No. that That's part of Snake, but then again, his... His pre-evolution says he lives by lakes. It, it works. Trump like dig, dig deep burrows up into trees, hoping that they can find splinters of bark to throw at their opponents, thus getting a tasty meal. And I've got to say, all the, the final stages have amazing shinies. Look at that. You cannot tell me that this thing is cool. That thing is sick. Here's the fire starters. Also, the, 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 the color of the font changed. Meet Lavake. The fire the, the fire snake Pokemon. Yes, I filled the, the gaping hole that Boy Coco made when people thought it was going to be a snake somehow. Just like a little wormy boy. <laughs> um, also, all these Pokemon like burrowing. Just so you know. This is actually my favorite starter, and I've set it as my own, like, little phone number, just for if you want to know my favorite one of these starters. Just look at its face! It's so cute! How would anyone not like this thing? But anyways, um, Lavake are scarce little creatures, and they'll run away from anything that might potentially hurt them. Um, I will mention the types at the end. But for the first stages, it's always pure grass, pure fire, and the final one is pure water at first stage. 
Um, up next is Steam Egg. You might think, oh, fire water. Great job. Nope. Yet again, it's a, it's a freaking trick. Because it's just a ghostly energy. Hinting in the type. Um, Steam Egg's bone-like patterns are supposed to scare off predators because these Pokemon are getting quite scarce. Who knows, they could turn into a legendary. I don't know. Hints. It evolves into this sick guy. By the way, I specifically made them fall... God, why am I doing this? I made them specifically fall outside of the circle because the bodies and their head are clear. But yeah, let's get back to this form. Alright, meet Fadeake. Or Fadeake, if you want. I don't... I don't care. But yeah. Um, this one... This one has my favorite co color combo out of any of them. Being black and blue, boys. Um, but you'll see... You can... Oh god, I, I realize you can see the starter, but not their shiny... When you just look at the next Pokemon. We're not going to talk about that though. Meet Fadeake. These Pokemon burn down trees. Not to, not to hurt anything. But mainly to warn that there is a storm coming. Mainly it's like Volcarona on. Or on. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. Now time for our water starter. Camellioplet. A pure water type. Because, like, I already said I was going to reveal these little guys' types. Um, Camellioplet. Um. Oh, God. I'm just making these off at of the top of my head. Camellioplet's head bubbles and tail bubbles are not just for appearance. They use them to form weapons like whips. Into the final stage. Then we got a very dark boy. This one might be some other people's favorite shinies. Because it turns black. Then again, I feel like everyone's going to be in love with that, um, with, with, uh, Chompa Lake's shiny. Camillark, though. Um, all I can think of when I say Camillark is my friend Blake. Not going to say his last name. Um, Camillark have grown to not be as soft as before, with their tails and head bubbles being a lot more prominent. And even their head bubbles gaining a spike inside of them. Um, I, I feel like all, some of you can already see the final stage, and you're going to love it. Meet Camillio Whip. Why did I say it was my favorite shiny? Um, I'll let you find out why. There, there's a very obvious reason why, though. Like, look at the colors. That is the best looking thing I've ever made. It's rainbow. It's neon. It's ready to party. <laughs> I don't know. Camellia whips have grown to not be as dark and aggressive, obviously. Yet they still use their use their whips of a ta their whip like hands because their tails became an extra hand. I mean they have five hands. Five. But yeah. Um their their fifth hand counts as a good way of carrying logs that it'll eat. This thing eats those logs. It's like a beaver. Um by the way, I forgot I was gonna say the typings. Pure grass type, a grass and ground, another grass and ground, a fire type, a fire and ghost, or not fire and ghost, fire type, and fire and ghost. By the way, I've heard some conspiracies of Gen 8 had his Syrian Typhlosion, fire ghost. Gen 9 had type, had um, Skeledurge, my favorite starter of the gen. And it's also Ghost and Fire. So why not have a third one? Like the three consecutive fire fightings. Except they progressively get better. Who knows? We might do another video with the with the regional the root one Pokemon. 
a pure water type, a water fighting, and water fighting. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and you know what? Just do it if you want to. I, I'm, I used to say this beforehand, but like, subscribe if you want to, and if you want, then... To, then just make sure to hit the bell, subscribe, comment, leave a like. Comment if you want this to be another part, another series I'm making. But yeah. Have a good day, everyone.